Today I am going to share what is growing in my garden. The highlights of flowers, harvest and summer garden tour. I am in zone 5B, Midwest areas. Peonies. Peonies is the star of the June month. It is fragrant, beautiful and hardy perennial and it resembles the rose petals with the size of a lotus. Uh, they put a beautiful show and it can be used as a cut flowers too. My next favorite flower in my garden is our roses. During this time of the year, the rose plant is flooded with the blooms. It is my favorite cut flowers on my table. Peas. We had a, an, an abundance of a harvest from probably 30 to 40 plants in our pots. We had nearly half a kg harvested for the season and it is pretty good for our weather. And the peas is a challenge here because there is no perfect spring. It gets too hot in May and June here. I am surprised it is still producing and I have started these indoors around mid-March and they were outside from April and managed to survive the couple of frost. The type I am growing is sugar and an snap peas. Radish. This is the uh, most harvested vegetable so far in my garden. I had around 3 kgs of uh, radishes being harvested so far. And this variety is not available in the marketplace. Um, it is, this is called a French breakfast radish. The radish is one of the easiest one to grow for the beginners. It takes only 30 days to harvest. It is very hardy and I am super happy with the harvest for this season. Strawberry. I have a all-star June bearing variety. It flowers in May and produces in the month of June and it, it gives a very decent harvest for this year. Likely around probably quarter kg. Um, I lost some of the berries to slugs. Curry leaves. All my curry leaves uh, plant get a haircut at the end of May so that it will produce more branches and grow taller. That is mandatory to have to do that for a healthy plant. I freeze a batch and make a curry leaf powder with another batch. Cold Rabi. I have around dozen plants in my garden that grows in different stages and I have two different types. Um, one is a purple one, the other one is a green. The purple one were started uh, in, indoors um, and uh, those are a bit slow right now. Beets. This time I am growing three different varieties of beets. The one I have harvested is the Italian heirloom variety called Chigoya beets. Uh, it has a beautiful stripes inside and it tastes yummy. Uh, I planted them in April. The greens are really tasty too. And these beets are crunchy, less sweet and very tasty. Uh, hot chilies. Uh, the the variety I am growing here is uh, called super chilies and uh, it it start producing from end of May and probably I'm taking like 10 or 20 of them almost every other day and it's really really hot and it, it fits very good with the Indian curries. The next one is garlic. The garlic were planted last year in October 2020. It withstand all the snow and the frost. Now it is almost ready to harvest. Um, I can wait more for the leaves to turn yellow, uh, but I do need a couple of them. So I just pulled a couple of them and left the rest for the later harvest. Blackberries. Blackberries have started flowering and some are changing into berries right now. I'm guessing it will be ready by end of this month. I'm too excited for it because this is my first harvest from the blackberry plants. Let's move on to the garden tour. In a in a shady spot, I got the Malabar spinach growing and it is pretty good so far. 
They love a moist soil, especially during the hot days. Next, I got a bunch of super chilies and they are producing a lot of fruits, a lot of pots. Moving to the main garden patches. Okay, the very first I have a strawberry tower. Uh, probably have around 20-25 plants. It gave an abundance of harvest for us and it's almost uh, now end of season for it. The next couple of pots I got uh, peas. Uh, these peas produce lots of peas uh, last month and this month and it is almost at the end of harvest season now. I have uh, another batch to pick that's it. Next pot I have a pile of greens. It is bolting right now because of the hot weather. I'm planning to sow again in August. The next pot I have a two types of cucumber growing. One is the Armenian and the other one is a Muncher cucumber. Both are flowering right now and I'm I, this is the first time I'm trying Armenian cucumber. Uh, let's hope it produces a lot of fruits. My next patch has a, a lot of corn, specifically baby corn and few American sweet corns. This is the first time I'm trying baby corn. Uh, I am I'm super excited. It's growing really, really good. I just sent to that patch. I got a capsicum patch going on here. I have around 20 pepper plants and they are all started from indoors in february and they are right now flowering next let's move on to our tomato patch and i got uh, there are some baby tomatoes coming up now those are all uh, this variety is the sweet 100 cherry tomato variety the smaller plants what you're seeing now are the uh, big beef um, there are they have some flower buds. It's yet to flower though. That patch I got a uh, cool crops going on. On the edges I have the broccoli going. In the middle I have the kohlrabi. The kohlrabi is getting nice and big. Probably it's time to harvest in next week or so. Um, on the right side edges I have like four or five uh, cauliflowers going on. And look at this. This is my first broccoli for the season. I'm super excited. Look at this cabbage. It is producing a head already. Uh, in this patch, I am growing a, a muncher cucumber and a sugar baby watermelon. And I got the trellis up. Um, uh, it is growing really good for now. The weather, the weather is really hot and it's perfect for the cucumber. And uh, the next to it I have a bunch of carrots going on there. And I have Thai chili which is filled with the blooms. And here we have super chilies. A couple of them I got here. And I have a pir kangai or in English we call it as a rich god. The, I got like six or seven plants. It is it loves the hot weather and it it actually it is thriving so good. It picked up the trellis. Moving on to this patch, this patch has soraka or bottle god you call it. Um, so far it is growing really good. And bush beans growing on the edges and we have one beta god here. I do have a small fruit coming up. I'm pretty excited about this. It is a heirloom variety by the way. Right in the middle I have like three cabbages coming up. It's pretty good. It's a purple cabbage and I have absolutely no, no bug issue. And I do have bug issue on the green cabbages though. And these are the tetrad red, be red beets. And next to it is I have a bunch of garlic. And I have a whole lot of uh, um, bush beans around it. And right in the middle, I do have some uh, kohlrabi going on here. And there are a couple of different bush beans. And I do have some asparagus beans going on in this patch. This patch is going to be crowded in a month or so. 
This patch is really dense, a lot going on in this patch. On the edges I have carrots and beets going growing and I would probably pull them up around July and right in the middle I have amaranth uh, or tandukira it's growing and I do have avaraka that is called uh, lab lab beans or uh, and uh, mochaka I don't know how do they call it in English I mean we shell those uh, beans out of it and eat and consume them and here is my um, my Italian heirloom beet uh, I pull I have harvested a couple of them and I still got more growing here in this patch on the edges the gongra leaves are growing up and I have a bunch of uh, uh, eggplants growing in this patch. There is three different eggplants. The one you are seeing is the black beauty heirloom variety and on the edges uh, I got the snake guard. It has started flowering now and soon I, I don't see the female flowers yet but I hope it will fly, it will start producing fruit around July. And right in the middle we have a uh, kohlrabi and I harvested a couple of them. That's why we see some bare spots here. But I am planning to fill that up with some peppers. And on this edge as you can see there is a pole beans coming up. And here again we got some heirloom um, uh, eggplants. There are like five of them here. It's coming up. And this one is called an Egyptian walking onion. And this is the first time I'm trying. I got the seeds from rat seeds. And I'm super excited to harvest the uh, onion from the top of the plant instead of digging. And here is the baby eggplant or brinjal here. And this is my first one. I'm super excited. It is way too soon for me to get eggplant. And this is a, a millionaire variety.